let's throw let's throw up the first photo here. What are you guys' initial thoughts? In or out? Oh man, it's coming through grainy on my end. Okay. Right. Um, I've seen this picture on Facebook. Like, there are people posting it a lot. Oh, uh, you definitely have not seen this picture. There's a screenshot from yours truly. So you no, have seen, seen maybe a one. nope, nope. I just screenshot this about two hours ago. Definitely saw one similar not, to this. Well, yeah. it might be similar. It's not the exact one. This is a yeah. this is a one of one. I saw a comment that said that the group walked up and made the call pretty quickly. Um, my first question was going to be, did they stand over for a while? Because if it takes, if you can't walk up within a few seconds and be like, oh, dude, get out of here. Sorry. <laughs> my dog, my dude Max is just yelling at me. You say um, your dog? No, it's my dude. It's, it's oh, a cat. Okay. It's a cat. Just say, it's, your dog's I mean, got a weird bark. Bro, he is my dog though. He is oh, my okay. dog. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. your D-A-W-G. Yeah. Yeah. I yes. Got yeah. yeah. You know what's up. Uh, Silas, um, throw up the other photo too. So, uh, maybe... Maybe, yeah, I wish um, I had like a photo from above it. Yeah, I heard that the group oh, made it quickly, so close. but it looks really, really close. From the picture, it looks like it could possibly be in, but I heard the group made the call fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, and throw up, throw up the third photo real quick. All I know is if this caddy had any input, put, I'm punching them straight in the face. I don't know. Hopefully he wasn't saying anything. Caddy should not be involved with any discussion on rules. Right? Are we all in agreement on no. that at least? 1,000%. Yep. Okay. Get, I, get I, I do love Terry Miller, though. He's in there hearing what's going on. I love that. Getting a little input. And he did, say, he did say it was 100% out of bounds. Like, so I guess yeah. if you were like looking vertical yeah. on it. Um, yeah. I, I guess I'm just going to say out then. Okay. You know? Um, uh, I think un undetermined based on the the picture, but you know, if everyone's calling it out, it was it was probably it was probably out, right? Like I'll there isn't up. like a, a conspiracy against no, no, um, I don't think so. No, I, I think some people were saying that should have been benefit to the player, which those people don't understand what benefit to the player means. Yeah, that for sure. Means and. that means like if there's literally no conclusion, if you have two people saying in, two people saying out, then it's in. Benefit to the player is not like, ooh, uh, it's close. We'll just give it to you. That's not that's not how benefit to the player works. Um, what do you guys think about OB? Like, what do you think is post string paint? Like, what do you guys think is the ideal way to uh, distinguish OB lines? I know you hate the wall. I know you guys don't like walls. You don't like borders. So I know that's out. Um. I think the best lines when done properly are string, but I also feel like string can be a little iffy because people trip over the lines. All of a sudden you got this loose line and it's like, yeah, like one person, because it's loose, they're going to definitely want to call themselves in. But then like on the other side, it's like someone else is going to want to tighten that line to prove they're in or they're out or whatever. It's like, um, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like, Ideally, the best situation is is you have your posts, you have a string line, and if there's any doubt on the string line, you can you know pull that that string line you know tight to whatever side we determine that they're all running on. It can get like pulled. It can get pulled there, or it's just posts, and everyone has it. I mean, I've seen that at tournaments before. I think it was somewhere in Smuggler's Notch that they only had posts. They all gave us a string before the tournament. Yes. And if it was close, you pulled the string on the yes. line. Yes. I love you that. Two people on the card pull the string. And then you got the other person that just gets to say whether it's in or out, essentially. Also, shots can be saved or screwed by posts, though. That's the one negative about them, whether you're trying to skip in or skip out. Yeah. I, I think the best scenario, which is probably the most expensive scenario, um, you guys – I don't think you're going to mind this. It is it is a little bit of a barrier, but it's easy to cross. Okay. Hay bale, hay bales. So you put you put hay bales up to where you make it to where if you're inside the hay bale, you're automatically in bounds. And if you're outside the hay bale, you're out of bounds. If you're on top of the hay bale, you're out of bounds. Like I think I think you get less scenarios. We don't really see it all that often, but the problem with the long grass spray paint is you get the disc that did just like this 
it can move that grass. And now all of a sudden you're like, Ooh, like, am I in or am I out? Right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I, I definitely, you know, I understand the grass comment, but hay bales, I, I think I'm out on the hay bales. I think uh, we could do a mini wall. If you're like, on this I, side I, of the wall, I, you're I, in, you're I'm on the already picturing it. Like we just have all of our fairways just like lined, lined in hay with hay bales. Like, I'm, uh, I'm, I say in. It's like, I'm for it's it. Like, it brings me back to my cross country days. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. Our, it becomes like, it looks like putt putt or something. <laughs> putt putt meets the Midwest or something like okay, that. Okay, so you're out on hay bales, but you're in on Jedi's and lightsabers. Got it. Okay um next one here we got a little video here um i don't know if i've ever asked you guys this question uh size go ahead and play the video we don't need audio here at all but um you can go ahead and play the video are you guys in or out on the giving knuckles on hole 18's t before the tournament is actually finished i give hugs and butt pats so oh okay. i'm out on the dabs yeah all right. yeah no daps, but hugs and butt pats. Okay. Yeah. Aggressive. Good, aggressive. good games. Good games. Yep. Okay. Okay. Calvin. Um, I mean, I, I think, I think, you know, it's there because it's like just the way it's always been done. It's like tradition, but I, I will say it, it does sometimes feel pretty weird when like you're trying to focus up, like you could be tied with someone going into the last hole and you might be back in the person you time to like you're you're like i don't know it does feel weird at times to be like uh super cordial with someone that you are actively still trying to take down because at that point in the tournament if you're like going in the last hole it's it's no longer you versus the course it's you versus that person like you're you're essentially playing match play that's why you gotta stare yeah. down dude in the <laughs> eyes just uh, i don't know i i did you did you know. and Ricky I, I, fist pump on eighteen? Because the term yeah. was already over. Then it was like, like, would you have done yeah. it if you guys were tied? Yeah, I, I still would have done it. I mean, it's just it's like it's always done. Are you um, a, are you ever initiator? Are you the initiator? No way. Like if you're sitting there and no one has done it and you're about to tee off, are you being like, oh, I can't tee off until I give everyone knuckles? Yeah, I just sit there. You did, oh, you wait for someone to come to you. <laughs> he, just, he just waits. He's like, you will get me nuts, bro. I'm going to say, no. I, you're, you're lucky you're good because you're always playing behind me because I'd be on your butt for slow play for having to do that. But um, uh, interesting thing, like you say tradition, it is kind of a crazy thing to think about because it's like a bad tradition. The, the reason it started is because players would literally leave the moment they tapped out on 16, because they'd be so, or the moment they tapped out on 18. I, like, I, got, I got that locked in my head. Bro, we're going to have to start a couple holes early now on uh, 16. We got to get the dabs. Uh, but yeah, players players would just leave, right? They'd get super frustrated and leave, and they're like, wow, you didn't even like say it was nice playing with you. And I think that's initially, uh, that's what people have told me. That's where like the tradition has started where now we literally can't do that. We have to stick around to do scores. So that's where it's like, I wonder if we can shift to it. Uh, but question to Zach uh, when he comes back here, because I know he's I'm just... back. Okay. Um, obviously, I know you, you respect my mental headspace. What if I told you, hey, if you give me a hug on hole 18, it's going to put me in a really dark spot. Are you still trying to give me a hug on hole 18? Probably depends on how you act during the round. Okay. If you're being a little baby, I'm going to come up and give you a hug for sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Because that is always an interesting one because I don't know if people think about it on the other side of like, well, what if, what if that mess? Because people always talk about this. Like, oh, they're wearing headphones. Let them wear headphones and music. It helps them get into the mind state, whatever, whatever, whatever. But no one ever talks about like messing up someone's mind state by like telling them, hey, it was nice playing with you right before the most important shot of their tournament. Something to think about. Something to think about. Um, all right, Haley came up short in the water on hole 18. I don't know if you guys saw that. Pretty pretty uh, standard shot there. Threw it in the water. I think this shows that we should never have par threes to end the tournament. 
if hole 18 was a part three, I think we would all be talking about Haley King as the champion. The fact that Haley King had to execute two shots, that shows us exactly like it puts you to where you have like a pressure shot. I love that. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but I love the idea that she had to execute a hard tee shot and then she had to execute a hard second shot. Uh, wasn't able to do so, forced a playoff. But this just kind of showed me like I'm out on part threes. The fact that there was a part five to finish this hole for us, this tournament, I thought was awesome. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I like par fours or fives as a finishing hole. I, I think actually, I, I don't know if it was with Zach or whoever, but like I kind of talked about this a little bit um, earlier this year when they switched up the finishing holes at, at Jonesboro, um, for example. Like I I just felt like the finishing stretch there was better, like 18 is better. Like, it, like, I don't know. There's just more chances for things to go wrong. Yep. Yeah, so... I don't know. I, I think it is more exciting. You know, you have to throw a good tee shot. You have to still throw the approach. Um, yeah, I, I think fours or fives tend to, in my mind, they, they shape up better for building that moment and um, just, you know, more things can happen.